fake news here. This is NWO Report World News. New York City was well on its way to boasting a proposed 47 total skyscrapers, which would loom over Manhattan in the coming decade. These spires of steel and glass representing the success of a free market industrial society are too much for New York's mayor and potential 2020 presidential candidate Bill de Blasio, a self-avowed socialist who aims to take the baton from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and plunge the failed Green New Deal into the heart of America's financial hub. And I happen to have one here. The one NYC 2050 plan. This is just the introductory book. There's nine books total. And it talks about what this city needs to look like in 2050. But it begins with the assumption that we have to make sure we're still here in 2050. The New York City Green New Deal is a $14 billion effort to change things while we still can. For the first time on Earth, a major city says no more. It's now law that our buildings must do the right thing for the people of this city. And I want to be very clear. The landlords who play by the rules are not going to have a problem. But any landlord who does not achieve these goals will be subject to fines of up to $1 million per year. You made quite a bit of news last week when you announced that New York City will now guarantee health care to anyone who needs it, including 300,000 undocumented immigrants at the cost of $100 million. But what do you say to people who say they don't want to pay for the undocumented? Okay, let me tell you why we're doing it first, and then I'll answer that. Okay. Everyone should have a right to health care. Here's the idea. Everyone should have a right to health care. To help close a $14 billion hole in its capital budget, the mayor would consider supporting a range of initiatives, including the East River tolls, or raising some or all of the taxes that now help fund the Mass Transit Agency. No tolls. Absolutely not. Thumbs down. Mayor de Blasio's comrade, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, has enacted policies creating a $2.3 billion black hole in New York State's budget, which Cuomo has continually blamed on President Trump's tax cuts. Let us address our issues, our very real issues, with a progressive agenda, not a regressive agenda, an agenda that moves us up, forward, and united, not down, backwards, and divided. It may surprise you, but I don't fault our federal government for causing the underlying fear and frustration. But I fault them for something worse. I fault them for a failure of leadership and government malfeasance. But it's actually the policies of Cuomo and mayors like de Blasio accelerating New York towards a financial crisis. As The Hill reported, New Yorkers pay an average of 12.7% of their income in state and local taxes and face some of the highest property taxes in the nation. New York City, where more than 40% of the state population lives, is the most expensive city in America. With affordable neighborhoods riddled with crime and homelessness, it's no wonder why people are fleeing in droves with 1.2 million New Yorkers leaving since 2010 last year New York had the largest overall population loss in the nation adding insult to injury a measles outbreak the magnitude of which has not been seen in 25 years has gripped the five boroughs especially in Brooklyn where de Blasio is forcing mandatory vaccinations New York City much like San Francisco has become yet another mad scientist lab laboratory for socialism, a dangerous, creeping disease that could take the U.S. financial system down with it. John Baum reporting.